and fungi. When you burn a living thing, a piece of tree for example, you are left with its most basic chemical component, carbon. Organisms from the simplest bacterium to protists, plants, and animals are all made from molecules based on carbon. A carbon atom has four bonding sites. For example, it can bond with hydrogen atoms to make CH4, methane gas, and with other carbons to form long chains in which the carbon atoms fill in their other bonding sites with hydrogens and oxygens. Living things, from the simplest bacterium on up the tree of life, are composed of four types of carbon molecules. The big four are carbohydrates, a simple one being glucose sugar, a six carbon compound. Inside a living plant cell, enzymes bond the sugars together by losing a hydrogen from one and a hydrogen oxygen unit from the other to make H2O. This coupling reaction creates long chains of building block sugars that form a macromolecule, in this case a starch. Potatoes, rice, and bread are typical foods made up of these long chain starch molecules. But if you would like to put something between those carbohydrate buns, like a big greasy hamburger, you will be eating the other three kinds of carbon-based macromolecules. That greasy stuff is fat something all cells need. Cell membranes, cell organelles, and hormones are made from fat molecules, and fat can also be stored for future use. Fat molecules, or lipids, are made up of fatty acid building blocks. Just as in carbohydrates, fatty acids go together by pulling out water molecules. The meatier part of your burger comes from cow muscle, and as you no doubt know, muscle tissue is a kind of protein. Proteins are all made from a selection of 20 kinds of amino acid building blocks. Unlike fats and carbohydrates, proteins are almost never straight lines of building blocks. Instead, they twist into shapes that do specific jobs. The last of the big four macromolecules are nucleic acids, DNA and RNA. Take DNA. Only four kinds of building blocks make up the sides of the twisted DNA ladder, but those four create an alphabet of coded instructions that can produce every living thing, from a bacterium to a baby. So you gulp down carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. And from all those nuclei, in all those cow cells, you get your supply of nucleic acid building blocks. So what happens to the big four down in your intestine? Specific enzymes, which you may recall are themselves proteins, jump on each type of macromolecule and render it back to its building blocks. Starches from the bun are broken down into simple sugars, and these are picked up by the blood and used for quick energy. Fats are disassembled, yielding up their fatty acid building blocks. Proteins are enzymatically broken up, and their amino acids head straight for your cells, where they can be reassembled to build human proteins. The four DNA building blocks, released by digestion, can now be pressed into service each time one of your cells makes up a duplicate set of DNA instructions and divides. Eat macromolecules, digest macromolecules, make new macromolecules. It's one of